everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to do a deep dive on partial knee replacements and everything you need to know about them. Hey everyone, so today we're talking about uh, partial knee replacements. Um, you may also hear these referred to as unicompartmental knee replacements, which basic, basically means that you're, instead of getting a full knee replacement, total knee replacement, you're replacing just part of the knee or one compartment of the knee. And the knee can be separated into three main compartments. So you have the medial or the middle part, the lateral or the outside part, and then you also have the uh, patella femoral or underneath the kneecap, so the kneecap with the thigh bone. So the medial, the lateral, and basically the under part of the kneecap sliding on the thigh bone. And with a unicompartmental or a partial knee replacement, again, you're replacing just one of these parts. And the reason for this is potentially that you only have arthritis and signs of arthritis or significant arthritis to warrant surgery and warrant replacement for that one part of the knee when the other components and the other compartments of the knee are relatively healthy and doing well. And typically the most common um, partial knee replacement is going to be the medial part or that middle part of the knee. So this is someone who potentially is what we call bow-legged. Um, your knee kind of curves outward when you're standing. Um, this is also called a valgus um, deformity and, or excuse me, varus deformity. Um, so bow-legged, your knee comes outward and this puts more stress and strain on that middle part of your knee. And why this can be beneficial is of course it's less um, parts of your knee that are being impacted. So ideally less trauma to the knee, less um, things that you're cutting and changing. You're able to maintain a lot of the healthy components of the knee. So the healthy parts of the bone, the healthy parts of the meniscus on the part you don't take out. Um, you maintain your ligaments mostly, most of the time ideally. You're maintaining a lot more of the ligaments of the knee. And you're just preserving a lot of the natural aspects of your knee. And what this leads to is a lot of times is usually the person has a lot less pain. You're going to have a quicker recovery compared to a total knee replacement. You're going to have pretty good mobility in the majority of cases, pretty good function. And it just feels more like a natural, normal knee compared to a total knee replacement where you're replacing all the different components and all the different compartments of the knee. So those are some of the positives for sure. Is It can be really beneficial, um, really less stressful, less intensive recovery, able to get back to doing a lot more activities afterward. Some things to keep in mind, some of the negatives maybe, is it's not necessarily appropriate for everyone. So if you have arthritis and damage throughout multiple parts of your knee, then getting a partial knee replacement is not going to be appropriate for you. In some cases, there's the risk of needing a revision surgery down the line. So do, they do um, undergo partial knee replacements with the goal of maintaining that partial knee replacement for as long as possible, potentially the rest of your life. But there is that potential of needing a revision or a change over to a total knee replacement at some time down the road. Um, it can be a little bit more difficult of a surgery to perform, although this has been obviously um, improved by improved surgical techniques, technology, uh, procedures, things of that nature. So it is a little bit more um, technical, the surgery itself, but relatively speaking, it's still very safe, um, very um, straightforward surgery to perform with someone who of course is experienced with this surgery. There is still risks of having complications like any surgery so just because it is a little bit less invasive and a less um, 
that you're changing and less that you're um, um, affecting, less components and less soft tissue that you're affecting, there is still risks that are inherent to any type of surgery, then you have to be aware of those risks as well. So overall, um, partial knee replacements are definitely on the rise and have a lot of benefits for those individuals, again, who might be a little bit younger, um, might be looking to do a lot more after they have their knee replacement surgery, still be active and um, doing a lot of different things. And it's a way to help with the pain and help with the symptoms of arthritis and joint pain while still hopefully minimizing the amount of impact and trauma, surgical trauma to the knee joint, which can lead to a little bit quicker recovery, more mobility and function afterwards. So this has been a talk on partial knee replacements or unicompartmental knee replacements. Again, not for everyone, but can be a really great option for those who it is appropriate for. Thank you very much for watching everyone and take care.